Love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for itself. Love doesn't want what it does not have. Love doesn't strut. It doesn't force itself on others, and it isn't always me for it. Love doesn't fly off the handle. Drew, you're so many things. Your heart has, always has enough room for everyone. Your generosity goes beyond physical or monetary things. You meet needs that people don't even realize they have until they meet you. You make people laugh. You're full of emotion. I believe the term's dramatic for that one. <laughs> but all of your larger than life qualities are what make you Drew Emma. You leave an impression in people's minds and in their hearts. This is a divine setup. This is a divine appointment, Father God. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for my new son. I'm getting, Father God, let me love him the way you love him, Father God. Let me speak life into him the way you speak life into him, Father God. Let me be an example to, to Drew on how to do that, Father God. To embrace who he is, to embrace who she is, Father God. I speak that they listen more than they talk, Father God. They have two ears to hear more than they talk gave this woman whom you hold by the hands today is to be your wife she's given you one of the most sacred things under heaven a woman's life and a woman's love you can bring her great joy or you can cause her great sorrow and it's not what you bring to her in a material way that will make happiness riches without love are nothing the gift without the giver is bare the practice of those virtues as a husband that you have shown as a friend will keep her heart one to your heart. So do you vow here as you have promised Drew that you will be true and loyal, patient in sickness, comforting in sorrow, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only into her as long as you both shall live? And if so, the answer is I do. I count myself blessed to have the title of sister when thousands of other girls look up to you and wish they had a Drew in their lives. I love you because you're my sister, my built-in lifelong friend, and because you're worth sharing with us. You are my favorite place to go. You're at the end of my favorite road. Above the rest, you're the best I know. Not crying. Oh. <laughs> you like it? Yes, you look amazing. Thank you. Flowers are pretty. Are you good. Beautiful. My little bro. <laughs> you my favorite place. And Drew, this man whom you hold by the right, by the hands today, is to be your husband. On your life, your love, and your devotion, he will lean for strength and inspiration. He's going to love, look to you for encouragement, for cheerfulness, and confidence. And may your life and your love be the inspiration that will constantly lead him to greater dependence upon the Lord. Do you vow here, as you have promised gave, that you will be loyal in adversity? Loving him in affliction, comforting him in sorrow, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only to him for as long as you both shall live. If so, the answer is, I do. I do. To my favorite So what have you brought today to this marriage to seal the vows that you have made with one another? That's rings, man. <laughs> this ring is my symbol of love to you, my pal, that I will always uphold and honor, that I will cherish you and commit to you all the days of my life. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs>
<laughs> Sir, you may kiss your bride. Gabe and Drew are very good together. Uh, the way they treat each other, Gabe treats her like he loves her very much, and Drew does the same thing. And uh, I just want to say that y'all are going to do great together. May I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Gabe Basham. Thank you for being the one to love my sister as she is. She's chosen you, so in return I also love you. What's ironic is that you two are the same. I mean, your husband is larger than life in different ways than you, but you're both larger than life. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I've got that. 